Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkur Rafi once again and I'm recording this video to share my today's experience. Like today was a long work day for me. I have been working around eight hours now and the story started from the afternoon and now it is in Bangladesh. It is now like 1030. So one of my clients for whom I have been managing his WordPress website he sent me few emails with this screenshot and we have got few more screenshots. Basically what happened there? He was not being able to visit the website. I wasn't being able to visit his website. And as I am a beginner, I was so afraid like where we've been hacked by some hackers or is there any other major issues that is going to be out of control. So I was so frustrated. I was so confused and afraid with this thought. And I started finding information and I read so many blogs. I watched so many YouTube lessons. But on the blog post, I found some ideas. I found some reasons, potential reasons that is causing this issue. I checked everything. Even I checked the backend part. I worked on PHP my admin section. I worked on the database section as well, where I usually don't work that much uh, for any client. But today I deleted everything. I uh, first of all, obviously, I took backup, then I deleted everything. I re-uploaded everything on the client server, but nothing helped. And on the very first stage, I thought the problem is occurring due to the SSL certificate issue. So I tried to uninstall, then install, then again update the SSL certificate for the client's website, but it didn't work. Then I read few more blog posts and then I got the idea like I have to work on the DNS server of the domain and hosting. So one thing I have been missing like I was missing actually the hosting was purchased on GoDaddy but the domain was purchased on Namecheap. So I was just trying to uh, change the hostings a record hostings IP address on the same hosting i don't know what happened to me like maybe for the nervousness i just got out of my mind like I, i'm just making the changes on the hosting account itself i'm copying the hostings ip address and i'm pasting the air record on the hosting platform again and again and i spent around five and half hours to just to figure it out and then i decided to send an email by mentioning to my client like i'm not going to be able to help him out with this problem but maybe the hosting company which is godaddy is going to be able to help him so he just sent me an email back so he asked me to call and asked me to talk with um, godaddy office and then from Bangladesh, I made a call on United States of America. We had a call of like nine minutes. And at the beginning, I was very afraid because I don't know what just I have done on his website. Maybe something I made any mistakes, though there was nothing I've been. I last maybe I worked on the website for around 15 days ago, as far as I could say. So there was no issues from my side but still i was afraid so as i am responsible to manage his website properly all right so i talked with the customer care support the first customer care support team member who i talked with named brian he just got some information from me and then he referred me to another customer support team member and he asked me a few questions few basic questions he asked me the account information the customer id and the pin number of the um, hosting uh, sorry of GoDaddy account of my client and then I provided the information and after that he just seen and within like one or two minutes he gave me the solution and the solution was I have to find that the domain name was purchased from Namecheap and the hosting was purchased from Bluehost so I have to connect each one of these so I have done this thing so many times, so many times using Bluehost Namecheap, Bluehost Namecheap, then Hosting Guard Namecheap. So I don't know, maybe the nervousness is the reason why I missed this part to check. So the customer support team member just told me, please check your domain registrant information. Like you can find out the information from 
uh, who is info so i just checked and while i was checking the customer support team member also checked and he just let me know the domain name was registered from um, namecheap so if i just take the ip location of the hosting and then if i place the hosting's ip into the uh, domains dns record section it is going to be connected so what i did i just asked my client to give me the information of domain registrant account of the name chip and he provided me the details and then i just signed in i pasted this ip address of hosting into the dns section of domain and within few seconds it just worked so this was one of the greatest experience that i acquired today only one or two minutes of work but i had to spend around five more than five hours to figure it out what was the issue and i learned so many things i learned what are some of the reasons it could be while we get like error messages on a website it could be for hd uh, like ssl it could be for broken links it could be for broken files it could be for missing files in the database and it could be for viruses etc et so many things i have learned in the five hours of today's um problem okay so this was it guys that i was about to share so it doesn't matter like where you are starting from i have never ever managed a website on godaddy before but this is the first time i am managing his website and today i faced this issue and to make this issue resolved i learned i spent over five hours and i learned so many things that is going to be helping me out in the long run of my web design journey and website backend management journey so the message is here so as many of you guys are watching my waters beginner to advanced course you might getting it a little hard at the beginning but when you are going to spend some time when you are going to start practicing you will find it really really easy to make websites using wordpress and elementor and i want to see you successful this is not that hard but a little complex you have to keep your mind open always to learn new things you have to keep your mind open to find and you have to learn the research skills you have to learn you have to learn how to find some information let's say for this one what i did if i uh, okay you, uh, if you just type out here just take a look i made this search sometimes and for this reason i am seeing this word so what i did to get the solution future home of something quite cool i just made this search like this on google and i visited I watched all of these videos and not only these videos I have watched so many videos today and I have opened these links I have opened these links and I read the threats people are posting here and the customer support teams are providing the solutions to and then I was been able to learn the solution about I had to talk with the customer support team and I learned so basically if I called him earlier if I was just if I got the idea in my mind like it could be a problem from the domain name or domain registrant operator then the problem could be solved so faster right so basically what you have to do you have to use Google you have to use YouTube you have to talk with people just share the problem you are getting and then maybe someone if one doesn't know the solution maybe the other is going to know the solution in and going to help you out with a solution so this is how we actually learn new things this is how we grow our knowledge base and this is how we become expert in any specific field so uh, this was a simple message for you and at the end i would love to show you something here on upwork i was just roaming around after completing the task for my client and just take a look someone is looking for a tech savvy virtual assistant familiar with wordpress just read the blog um, job post from here you will get some good motivation to keep learning wordpress and elementor and then um, we have got this one full working setup wordpress work script theme so basically client have got some information here 
just take a look we have purchased this theme below so client already have purchased the theme and now we have to provide sorry we have to add they are going to provide us images contents and videos or whatever information they need to have on their website and we have to simply make the change on this theme um, let me just have it loaded here on this theme and you already got the very basic idea about customizing a wordpress theme and if you spend some time on customizing few more themes by by being some uh, like kind of proactive you will be able to customize these types of themes pretty easily and this is one of the easiest theme i would say and as you can see i would love to know what was the element or widget we used or the option you used in our previous lesson to create these types of things so what is the name of this uh, widget option or element let me know by commenting below i want to know if you have watched the video and if you did the practice work so this is your this is the question for you all right guys so thank you so much for watching this video and i am going to work on our future lessons hopefully by tomorrow and i have to see you in the lessons and i would love to see your works on our facebook group and i'm so glad i'm seeing some of the works already thank you so much i appreciate you guys are sharing your works and thank you so much for being with me and i hope to see you success see your success okay have a good day thank you so much again bye bye